Welcome to Clydesdale Media. Fueled by C4, Cellucor, and Extend. Use the code Clydesdale to get 20% off the checkout at c4energy.com. The 2023 Season Series with some amazing athletes. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notifier so you first know when new episodes are available. So, it's the last week of the Open. Uh, I went over to Powell yesterday and uh, saw Rudy do 23.3. Um, I've seen this workout eat up a lot of good athletes, so it's good to get over there. See Rudy do this, and you're going to get to see a little bit of that now. As we finish up the Open with Rudy Berger, 23.3, here's Rudy's workout. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you can get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test if only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I like to play fast Cross me and there's payback You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the climb I think that the pain that's deep inside Is what defines So I won't give up, I'm gonna make it to the top I don't care what's in my way, I swear I'm never gonna stop I could fall flat on my face and I swear I won't get back up Cause I don't deserve a thing and the road ahead is tough They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown they wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless
focus on the community of Chalk Dust and all the people that come out and support Rudy, who do work around what he is doing to help him submit videos, to help him do all of that stuff. And so um, I got a chance to talk to a lot of the people in the community, and here's uh, some of what I learned. It's important to point out, Rudy is the most humble uh, dude. Like, he'll, he will help anybody in here. None of this success has gone to his head. And there's very few people in life that, that have his level of success that don't change. Um, uh, but Ru Rudy, you know, Rudy is still one of us uh, and doesn't walk around like a world champion. So. Yeah, Friday Night Lights, you know, the last three Fridays he was in here cheering everyone on, you know, as we were going through it where, you know, leading up to a big, you know, competition or big event that he's doing the next day he made sure that he was taking time in the evening to come cheer on the community and he just returned what everyone's given back to him so it's been great to see that is so cool okay i'm here with the rest of the big head crew pull those big heads up there we go so your names uh, jackson so you guys have been here like every week rooting rudy on what does it mean for you to get to come and cheer on Rudy to make him get him back to the games. Uh, uh, it's cool. It's, I, it's cool. It's cool knowing him, like telling my friends about it. It's like it's like really fun. And, yeah. Are you going to be back for quarterfinals? Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe. So, uh, do you guys CrossFit yourselves or just come Rudy on? Uh, I do. I did the workout yesterday. How'd you do? Uh, pretty good. Cool. And you? Same, same with me. I did the um, kids open workout. My mom was really proud of me. Um, I, I just feel good at myself. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks, guys. So I'm here with Rudy's media team. Um, and your name? Jessica Martin. Uh, Katie Blumich. And this is a lot of work to do the video production for an athlete that's trying to make it to the games. What made you want to volunteer and jump in? He's amazing. He deserves all the support in the world. And I'm glad that he kind of like allows us to be part of the adventure. I, it's cool to be able to contribute. <laughs> the burgers like, we are the people that will drop anything and do what you need. So it's like just fun to be able to help. And like, it's fun to be involved. I love being here the whole time. So were you a part of this last year and through this season? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Have you seen ways to improve the process and like buy new stuff? I know being the owner of a media team, like you're always wanting the new gadgets and everything. Oh yes, I have a shopping cart. I was reserving it for after the open. <laughs> for the next, we've actually gotten comments from just um, community members that um, we seem less stressed and we're like doing better this year. Everything is flowing better. So yeah, we've improved for sure. <laughs> Well, it's funny, I talk to a lot of athletes around the space, and not every athlete has this support. So, what's it like being a member of Chalk Dust and this community that comes out to support an athlete like this every week? Uh, life changing? Um, I know that sounds like really profound, but I'm serious. Like, being part of this community has really changed my family's life. Um, it's made lifelong like, friendships in the Burgers, in the Walters, um, the whole community. So, yeah. Changing. It's like a family. It's so much fun, and we would honestly, this community would pull out for anybody. They would really be here for anybody that was doing any anything, and for Rudy, it's a no-brainer. So, you guys do CrossFit here? Yes. 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 Um, and are you like a competitive athlete? Uh, your average Joe? I'm an average Joe. She is not. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty average. No, the grand scheme. <laughs> we do compete. Mike and I actually compete later today at the Arnold, so hey, go check us. <laughs> so I heard a rumor that you guys were competing at the Arnold. Yeah. So are you excited about that? It's a huge event here at Club. It's so much fun. We love going down. This is our, uh, my third time being on the team there. Um, first time just as a pair with Mike, so that should be fun. Um, usually we'll compete with Rudy on it, actually, so that's, that's been fun in the past. But he's got other things to focus on this year. <laughs> Yeah. Any aspirations for master's level at some point or anything like that? We'll see. Um, I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> right now, just local comps, hanging out. Yeah. Hanging out with your friends. This is, like, that's what the community's about, right? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Well, guys, I want to... 
I want to thank you so much. I wanted to give you a little shout out because I know that Not Athlete has the support. And it's really cool to see what he has here. And uh, awesome job. Well, thank you for covering so now I'm here with a couple of the crowd that come to support Rudy every week uh, during his bid to get back to the CrossFit Games. So why do you guys come and support Rudy every week? We're, it's a community. We love it here, and he's been here as long as long longer than we've all been here. He's so inspiring to watch. Like It just gets you going, and you get so excited for him. And see all the hard work that he's done and it's it's so awesome it's contagious for sure it's about family and this community is a huge family so um, Rudy's one of the best guys that all of us have ever met he's always there for us cheering us on cheering his kids on supporting his family um, he's taken us with him through this whole process let us be a part of it um, and what else is left to do but do what we can, which is show up and yell as loud as we can while he does all the hard work. And cheer him on, for okay. sure. So what's it like to be a part of this Chalk Dust community? I mean, it's the best. It's like none other. You kind of can't explain it to someone until they come here, and then you're just like, oh, all right, this is so fun. Yeah, work friends oh. and home friends are just don't, I'm like, no, I'm going to go hang out with my gym friends. Yeah, so <laughs> It makes me cry. So we had a huge tragedy in our life, and you guys were all into that, and it's the support and family that you just, uh, you summed it up. You just can't imagine it unless you're part of this family. Yep, family. Uh -huh. <laughs> family first. So Rudy won the games last year. What kind of pride does that bring back to this gym that you have a CrossFit Games champion here? Well, if you're in the middle of a workout and you want to quit, you look up, the, up there and you look at those flags and you're like, okay, I can do it. I can keep going. It yep. was the coolest thing I've ever experienced. I do wall balls over on that wall and every time I feel like dying, I just look at Rudy's yeah. flag up there and you just keep going. It, gives, it inspires you, it pushes you, and it drives you to do better. Um, I think, too, just the the community, obviously, like we've said, it's like a family, but the coaching, the support, even from Rudy and his family, he's a games champion, but he's still in here, like, doing the grunt work with middle-aged moms that come after they cook dinner, and uh, <laughs> it's like a camaraderie and a, a connection that we all suffer the same um, workouts and end up, you know, pushing for each other after it's over. When we came back from the games, I... It was, I somehow inserted it into every conversation. I was like, I was just in uh, Wisconsin and my friend won the game. Like I just, every single time I, we were just, people were probably sick of me, but it was. And the community came out for Rudy in Wisconsin, like huge, yeah. like probably maybe the biggest support group in the Masters division. Yeah, for it sure. We, yeah, yeah. We, I didn't get to go, but we are planning on this year and we're hoping to go. We're so excited. Yeah, I think yeah, people knew we were there when we came to each event, like, oh, yeah. he, his people are here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, last question. Is Rudy going to repeat? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> for sure. Thank you, guys. All right, we're with the uh, dad group, I've, I've been told. <laughs> Only one dad. Only one dad. <laughs> All right, I prematurely uh, put these people into fatherhood. All right, so what's it like being out here supporting Rudy every week? Uh, it's a really positive environment. I mean, uh, I lose my voice every Saturday now. Um, just coming out here and, and supporting him, it's uh, I'm sure as much energy as he feels, we all feel it just being around him, and we're really happy to be here for him. I uh, saw Rudy uh, uh, start out uh, six, seven years ago when a uh, coach here famously says he couldn't do a burpee. And uh, I watched uh, Rudy uh, uh, fail on ropes and drop bars into the rig. Uh, he was just a regular dude like us. So to watch this transformation uh, for the last uh, seven or eight years is phenomenal. And he inspires us all uh, uh, on his journey every week. Yeah, I can't really add too much on to what the, those guys said, but it's very inspiring to be part of the journey and, and watch just the effort that he puts in every day and, and see it come to fruition on the day, the day of the game. Yeah, I mean, pretty much I'd echo the same thing. It's just inspiring. So what kind of, what sense of pride does this community have that you have a CrossFit Games champion among you? Oh yeah, I mean, seeing that banner hanging up there is, is awesome. You see it in kind of videos of other people's gyms, but now we have it. And, you know, seeing, actually seeing our community on TV at the games and everything, it's just 
it's it's awesome how everybody supports it. Yeah, I'd agree. You know, when uh, the first event, I believe, uh, when it was the rope climb, climb wad at the game, um, they said Rudolph Berger from Chalk Dust CrossFit at Palo Ohio and, like, got choked up and started crying. You just have that sense of pride, like, you just you see all the work and you know we were all part of the journey as we got to, or as he was working through that piece and it was just so much pride uh to see him on tv was awesome the announcers at the games better wake up this year because <laughs> i was frustrated um angry is a little strong but we were frustrated that rudy didn't get a tenth of the attention as some of the other athletes you know last year he didn't have the sponsors and so on you know but rudy's the ultimate rocky story Came out a little here in Ohio, and uh, here he is. And he's taken on these Goliaths. Um, but those announcers, uh, even in the last event, when it was clear that Rudy was going to win the games, were focused on the other guys. So, uh, so you know, it's, uh, it, it's, what, it's what fuels us here as well, that, uh, that Rocky's, uh, Rudy is the ultimate Rocky underdog story. And let's go. That's why we're here. Yeah, and it, again, that's, you know, as much as this is a competition and everyone's trying to be the best for themselves, we're all here as evidence from this. We're all here to support him, and if you saw us at the games, I mean, there was the largest crowd with all the fat heads. Everyone was really there to support him. So, I mean, maybe the announcers aren't paying attention, but we're definitely paying attention, and we will do all the cheering that we need to. <laughs> yeah, Rudy may have had the largest contingent of fans in the Masters division at the games last year. Mm -hmm. Oh, 100%. Yeah, that, that audience is filled with us. <laughs> All right, last question. Prediction. Is Rudy going to repeat? Absolutely. 100%. 100%. No Thanks, guys. All right, we are with the owners of Chalk Dust CrossFit, Mike and Caitlin. Um, guys, what an event you guys get to put on every Saturday when Rudy is doing his open workout. What does it mean to you to be able to support your athletes in that way? Um... It means just kind of, I mean, I guess like we just don't even think about it at that, at, to be honest with you, like we're just kind of all in um, with anybody that wants to kind of chase this adventure. And of course, like with Rudy and Lynette, we have like kind of a personal relationship with them as well as far as like, you know, we're friends, she coaches uh, and it's just an amazing adventure and we just kind of didn't even think about it. We're just all in, whatever they need at any moment, we're just down. So. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Um, yeah, I would say the sentiments are the same. Uh, Rudy and Lynette have been with us for, I think their member numbers are like one in number two. So they're literally some of the original founders of our gym. Um, and we've been with them for eight and a half, almost nine years now. So anything they need at any point in time, just absolutely. We do it for them. They do it for us. It's just, they're part of our family, so it's just kind of how we roll. So we've seen the reels, like how it began, where it is today. You guys were there for the beginning of Rudy's journey. Yeah. Uh, how does How is the difference from day one to now a CrossFit Games champion? So day one, I had to teach him how to do a burpee. Um, didn't really know how. He could move, but didn't really know how. Uh, his first competition that he ever made finals had a rope climb, so I was teaching him how to climb a rope in the back of that gym. Um, fast forward a couple years later, we see this amazing potential out of him. Um, but now, once he believed in himself, that was all it took. Uh, when he knew that he had the ability, th that was it, it was over. Um, and from there, he's been able to kind of be even more further, I think, this year than he was last year. So it's just, it's a tremendous, uh, to watch his drive and his passion over the years has been pretty great. Anything to add, Caitlin? No, I totally agree with everything that Mike said. It's just been awesome to watch from like day one. You know, I was always in the gym taking photos and videos, and I love documenting that kind of stuff because you just never know when, you know, in life those people won't be with you anymore. So I always want to document, you know, families, our gym, everything that we do. So to have like all of those years of media was just like how amazing this evolution of Rudy from day one to now. I mean, it's just a completely different person. So the sense of pride that has to come over you guys, not because you have a games champion in your building, 
but that you have a community that comes out and supports and not just cheers, but does work to help Rudy get to where he's going. How does that make you feel as a business owner? I mean, every single time this community shows up for somebody, whether it's Rudy or somebody that needs it and you know, they're moving or some, a hardship in their life, it is just overwhelmingly humbling to watch all of these people show up. They have lives, they have jobs, they have families, and it's drop everything for anybody at any moment. And you saw like, you know, this crowd was huge and you could see there's tears in people's eyes. Like this is a, affects them past just Rudy doing a workout. It's just so inspiring to see him and his family take on this challenge and just run with it and just absolutely dominate. And I think that resonates with people because they can see it in their own lives and they put that on to whatever they're going through and whatever they can achieve and like kind of find that in themselves. So it's just, I mean, it's just overwhelmingly amazing to watch all of these people drop anything on a Saturday morning. Time changes, we're like, let's do it, let's do it earlier. And they're like, yeah, let's do it and let's just hang out. So it's just awesome to watch. So a lot of your community members described the community as family. Do you feel more like mom or like a business owner? I feel like I do. I feel like the I feel like the therapist a lot. I feel like the I'm not necessarily the mother because I'm kind of like I don't know. I'm 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 probably just a little bit not the mothering type, even though I have children. Uh, I feel like maybe some of them feel like they're my mother, <laughs> but um, I I feel like there's this like very you know family sense that you know, we're all kind of connected and I definitely feel like uh, a business owner, but I definitely have, you know, we've crossed the lines of like, we're family and it's awesome to see like people that leave us, they're still part of our family. We always say, you know, you're always part of Chalk Dust. So yeah, I think that Mike definitely uh, is the dad of Chalk Dust though. Like, Do you feel that responsibility as being like the dad of, cross, of Chalk Dust? Um, yeah, I mean, everything that I go through uh, I plan that, like I plan out our workouts. We're over a year in advance, um, as far as planning goes. So everything's very fine-tuned and planned, um, and that allows me to have a certain sense of direction that I want us to go. And so I, I probably have a little bit more stern of an approach for things um, because I'm trying to keep us on this certain project projection that I want us to hit. I'm definitely the more fun one. <laughs> That's, so that's very true. <laughs> so a lot of people describe Rudy as humble, that he's here cheering everybody else on when they're doing their workouts, um, maybe even at the sacrifice of some rest before he gets to do his own workout. Um, do you see that, and does does that instill uh, a thing amongst the community? Yeah, I mean. Um I think Rudy is a representation of our gym. Uh, he's a dad of two. He's a husband. He's a working professional. His he is a representation of our average member, um, and that allows you to kind of see. He, he's the mold of what we want to see out of people, um, and his the way he kind of conducts himself other people can see that as well yeah. I mean Rudy definitely you know uh, he sees that people show up for him and so he definitely shows up for them as well um, so it's vice versa and I think that um, he does that very like flawlessly it's not like he feels obligated to do any of this it's just part of his nature to be that person and it, it's definitely genuine throughout the community so two quick questions and then I'll let you get out of here first you had the largest contingent I swear at the games for any masters athlete I was at Wadapalooza I saw a smaller contingent but still there to support Rudy what's it like when your community travels I mean, there's giant group texts. There is a lot of coordination, a lot of um, fun. Like everybody kind of, like the family aspect is there. Like everybody wants to like, where are you staying? What hotel are you going to? Like, where are we all going to go to eat? Um, we all want to hang out with each other 
everywhere we go, which is like amazing. And I don't know if that's normal everywhere else, um, but it's just the coolest ride. Like you always have somebody to be with and you know, people want to be with people and to find a lot of like-minded people that travel together and like do fitness related things is just, it was like the coolest experience, the games. And then Wadapalooza was obviously us and then the Cantrells. Um, uh, and then we had Marty actually show up randomly for a birthday. He's like in Miami and he's like, oh, come to Wadapalooza. So it's just like people want to be around you and especially when there's like Rudy just killing it in the workout. So, you have anything to add? No, that pretty much sums up that. Yeah. yeah. Is is that where you lean into the strength of fun, Caitlin? Oh yeah, like I yeah I have to like be on all the time. You know, as a creative <laughs> individual, you you know we have a little bit of a different brain. <laughs> all right, last question. Yeah. You think Rudy's going to repeat this year? Ah uh, yeah. He's like definitely going like just seeing how he did the open like mastered the open. I mean, it's just going to be quarterfinals, semifinals and then back into the games and his mindset like Mike said is even stronger than it was last year. I think that he has something to prove like this wasn't a fluke. Uh this is I've put the work in and he's going. Yeah, I would say absolutely. Um he's definitely 10 times the athlete that he was last year um, from not only a physical perspective because obviously he's improved physically but mentally it's just immaculate the the amount of change that's happened over the last two years has just been incredible because again once he believed in himself that was the only thing holding him back and when when that happened it was it was a catapult like he skyrocketed and won the games um and then this year he's been able to fine-tune some things that he struggles with um and he's turned those into actual strengths versus weaknesses so yeah absolutely well i want to oh go ahead sorry one more thing to add lynette has a lot to do with that too like lynette has a lot to do with how he approaches his workouts how he dissects his workouts how he you know gets over any weaknesses that he thinks he has uh and then puts him in the right mindset like she is a phenomenal uh coach and cheerleader at the same time and i think that's really rare so i definitely want to like you know shout out to lynette yeah there's i mean we uh we have her as a coach of ours for a reason um she's very good at what she does so yeah, absolutely. Well, I want to personally thank you guys for allowing me the space to come in here and do this documentary. And we're going to spend the whole season here. So I uh, can't wait. And it's been great getting to know new friends. You as well. This is like the coolest thing ever. I've never been interviewed. I'm pretty bad at it, but I'm still having fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. you. And now we're going to wrap up with Lynette. Uh, as I finished up with the community, Rudy was already back to training getting that training session in, getting ready for quarterfinals already. And so what I did is I sat down with Lynette, talked to her, got her a little wrap up of the open, got her impressions of the community, and then um, and then we're gonna finish up. So this episode is gonna be a Rudy free, Rudy episode. Uh, we're with Lynette after the workout. I just talked to the community. I have so much to ask you, um, but I wanna talk about the workout real quick. I have watched this workout eat up a lot of people in the last 48 hours. Um, it did not do that to Rudy. He finished. How proud are you right now? Oh, so proud. Um, so the movements are things that we practice and we train often. Um, also, he really likes snatches, so that really helps kind of get in the mindset and, and attack something that you know is going to be very difficult. Um, however, the weight got pretty heavy. Um, it's high percentage work under fatigue. So we were approaching that last barbell with a lot of respect, um, but you know, he, he executed the plan and he exceeded expectations, so I am so proud. If you can hear the echo bike through the mic, that is Rudy already back on a training session. That's right. Uh, Lynette has him back on the horse. Yep. Uh, no time to rest. No we got time. quarterfinals coming up. That's right. So two weeks mm -hmm. um, of no comp and then back into quarterfinals. Yeah, oh, so yeah. So 
We will continue to train as you hear the echo bike um, in the background. Um, we're doing a little, a little piece today. Tomorrow will be a rest day because he's traveling for work. So we're just tweaking our week. But then quarterfinals, and that's the focus. Um, we're going to be really, um, you know, making sure that we are staying healthy, fueling properly, and let's see what quarterfinals bring. So I talked to the community today. My gosh, the support you guys get and the love that you can feel in that community. How does that make it easier to come in here every day and grind? Oh, uh, it's, um, it's, you know, it's like you do it because it's something you want and something that is your own goal. But everybody that shows up to cheer is invested in that goal as well. So over the last year, we, we feel that it's a, it's a team effort. And when things get hard and, and in the middle of a workout, whether you know, you're know you Rudy where he's going after a big goal or myself who didn't get out of the first six minute window, <laughs> um, when you hear people cheering for you that really love you and are invested in you doing your best, you just push a little harder. So building, building that into the process just makes such a big difference. So for instance, you know, maybe getting after that barbell a little bit sooner than he would have if he was by, by himself or just me. So um, the community has a big impact in the effort that he puts in. So, um, I mean, words can't even explain how much we're grateful for them. The common theme was that it's easy to root for Rudy because he's rooting for them. Like he shows up at Friday Night Lights, he cheers on the community. How important is it that you guys stay fully invested in that community? Because a lot of athletes will just come in, work out in the corner and go home. No, um, so our story is a little different. We walked in here, I personally couldn't put the 35 pound barbell over my head. Um, Rudy had his own style of burpees going on. So we have grown with this community over the last nine years. And I think we are the um, longer uh, existing members of this gym. So um, they, we, you know, we've gotten better and we've gotten after bigger goals alongside the same people we started on day one. So I think that really plays a big factor in why the love is so mutual. So yeah, he comes in uh, every Friday night to, to cheer. We don't let him judge <laughs> because he gets a little distracted and uh, uh, is not the most accurate judge out there for others. But um, he's always cheering and helping people get ready and changing weight. So it's, it's totally a, a mutual thing. Uh, the community also talked about being the largest contingent for a master's athlete maybe at the CrossFit Games. Um, and how fun it was for them to be involved in that and to hear Chuck Dust CrossFit from Palo, Ohio announced over the loudspeaker. Do you ever get choked up when you see that and hear that? Yes. Yeah, so at the games, the coach's view uh, was different than their view. So I was in a different section than they were. So not only was I hit with emotion seeing Rudy put himself out there and crush it in the competition floor to, on top of that I was seeing my friends basically my family screaming their lungs out cheering them cheering him on so I actually took like I remember taking time in the moment to like soak it in and be like regardless of the outcome of this particular event the magic that's happening right here it's what this is about it's what keeps you coming back and one more story on that, uh, to build on the podium side, like stories from the kids last week. Um, it, it, and during the podium ceremony, I was in a different angle. I was not with the crew when Rudy was, uh, you know, being called out to receive his medal. And so I had the same emotion. It's almost like time froze for a quick second and I could see and hear everybody just like I mean with the voice they had left which nobody had any voice left but they were just all the cameras were videoing and it's just like man this was such a huge accomplishment for us for the community for the gym and so I don't know it's just a magical thing honestly 
Yeah, there was, as I interviewed the community, there was a lot of tears. I got choked up. Um, it was, um, it's magic. There, there's something magical happening here. And it's funny, as I've been around the space, not every athlete has this. Um, so I want to finish with Mike and Caitlin and the support. I saw them at Wadapalooza. They were at the games. Um, they say that your relationship is bigger than just an athletic thing. Can you speak to that as we finish up? Yeah, so um, Mike and Caitlin, before anything else, they are our friends. And our kids, so we, our kids are a little older than their kids, so they saw our kids coming here as toddlers. And Caitlin many times skipped workouts to hang out with my kids so I could get a workout. So now, my, like my daughter, you saw her, you know, taking off with her to babysit their son. So it's just this really deep family-like relationship that is the foundation for everything else. And so I think they share a lot of the, the same pride and the same, you know, love and, and, and investment because they have seen us, you know, get to this point. And, and I feel like we're just getting started. I think, you know, the more you learn, the more you apply into how you want to approach the next step. So I think that the gym as a whole is like, all right, that was round one. Let's get better, let's get stronger, let's get faster, let's get louder, let's go. Family seems to be the common word. Um, I asked Caitlin if she was the mom. She said no, she's more like the fun sister. Yes. <laughs> uh, Mike is the dad, because uh, he is a little more stern. Um, is that how you would describe it? For them? Yeah. Yes, Caitlin is totally the fun, all, all of it. The fun aunt for my kids. Um, she is super creative. She, she is the fun one. Let's just yes, yes. That's a great description for her. Yeah. Um, with that, I want to thank you so much. This open has been so much fun. Got to meet so many new people, uh, so many new friends, and I want to thank you for the opportunity to do this and tell Rudy's story. Awesome. Thank you for coming and hanging out with us. Um, now you're part of our community too. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. So that's a wrap. The 2023 CrossFit Open is done for Rudy Berger. Uh, I know he got a win in week one. He got a second place in week two. We'll see where he finishes up this week. Um, but he finished that workout, and that is pretty freaking amazing. So with that, we will see you all as Rudy goes on to quarterfinals, see where he does, and then uh, we'll follow up with semis and hopefully all the way to the CrossFit Games. Thank you so much for joining us for this. Thank you to Chalk Dust CrossFit. Thank you to Lynette and Rudy Berger for allowing me to be a part of this. With that, we will see you next time on the Clydesdale Media Presents, the athletes of the 23, 2023 CrossFit Games season. Thank you so much.